Hi everybody. I want to welcome you to this during the week video. I'm here in the front lawn of our church. I'm very happy and excited to say that beginning this Sunday we will start having our outdoor services here on our front lawn. We're having two services on Sunday, one at 9 o'clock in the morning, one at 7 o'clock in the evening. Both services will be the same and both will include a love feast as we continue our celebration of the August 13th festival of the Moravian Church. Our task force that has planned this service is looking forward to us getting together again. Our task force also wants our services to be as safe as possible. We're asking households to sit in your household group when you come, and areas are marked here on the lawn. We're asking people to wear a mask as they come to and from the service. Uh, please bring your own chair if possible. We will have some here. We ask that you visit with each other, but when you do, you do it at a distance. Uh, there will be no child care, and in the case of rain, we will not have the services. Uh, but certainly pray for the services. Pray that we'll have a beautiful morning and evening and just an opportunity to come together as this part of God's family. If you can come, great. If you don't feel safe coming, we understand. Um, and we, but we do want to share the service with you. We will be planning to put the service on Facebook Live this Sunday morning beginning at 9 o'clock. Do share have some other things I want to share with you. Uh, this Sunday, our province is offering its annual Children's Festival and Love Feast. It's the seventh year they've done it. This year, they're doing it virtually. So please see the information on our church email during this week and this weekend uh, to know how you can look at that. There will be a youth leaders meeting for our youth fellowship next Wednesday in the fellowship hall at 7 o'clock. This is for all who are interested in serving as youth leaders this year. And part of us is our coming together to kind of talk about how we're going to be doing youth fellowship, especially through this pandemic. I want to remind everybody of the Mission Blitz also. It's going to be October the 9th through the 11th. We are going to be working on outdoor projects for that. I want to share with you some of our prayer concerns. We want to continue to pray for Natalie Simpson as she continues her recovery from her recent surgery. Zach Heath had some surgery yesterday. His surgery went well, and please keep him in your prayers. Jennifer Dunn, who is recently di diagnosed with breast cancer, will be having some surgery coming up later this month. Please keep Jennifer in your prayers. Elka Card, as she continues her cancer treatments. Um, Ken and Cynthia Severe ask that we pray for their friend, Jimmy Justice, who is dealing with some health concerns. Sandy Emery asks that we pray for her brother, Kimmy, Kenny Pfeiffer, who has been taken to the hospital dealing with complications from diabetes and other health concerns. Let us certainly pray for our health care workers, our teachers, and school personnel as they begin a new year, uh, plus the students, um, our preschool, our college students, many who are back in campus or who are getting ready to head there. And let's pray for our nation as we continue to deal with this pandemic. One of the folks and families we've been keeping in our prayers recently has been the family of Tim and Lori Justice upon the recent uh, sudden passing of their son, Walt. Uh, Lori has a message that she has given and I would like for me to share with our church family. Um, and so I would like to share that with you at this time. Uh, Lori writes, Dear King Moravian Church family, we want to say thank you for enveloping us with love and compassion throughout the past few weeks. Your support is a great supportive strength to us in this very difficult and heartbreaking time. Please know that every card, call, message, gift, meal, tear, and memory shared has been deeply appreciated. With love, Tim, Lori, and Taylor Justice. So let's certainly continue. Thank you, Lori, for that. And let's certainly continue to keep the family in our prayers. One thing I've mentioned this past week and in leading up to this week is the August 13th festival of the Moravian Church. As we remember the spiritual renewal of the early Moravians that they experienced on August 13th, 1727. The day that I'm doing this video is August 13th, exactly 293 years since that great experience of the early Moravians. And I hope you'll think about that. I hope that wherever you are spiritually, you know, you may be a strong Christian who continues to grow in your faith. You may be a Christian who kind of wavers in your faith from time to time. Maybe you're someone who is still seeking God, and maybe you just don't know what you believe. I would ask that you just be open to God's presence, to the presence of God's Holy Spirit who touched the hearts and lives of those early Moravians, and who wants to touch your heart and my heart and make a great and wonderful and powerful difference in you, in your family, in your relationships, and in our church family. May you and I be filled with the Holy Spirit, and may God do great things in our lives. 
I hope you have a great rest of the week. I look forward to seeing many of you this Sunday. Please know you and all of our church family and friends are in my prayers. God bless you.